It's a distinguished military honor. The Bronze Star and a Valley Man is getting his only because his neighbor was secretly seeing to it. Only on ABC 15, Steve Koo shows us the vet being honored and why his friend felt compelled to act. When Allied and American forces stormed the beaches of Normandy on D-Day during World War II, Sergeant First Class Lester Buzz Bovey was there. His friends all died around him. Within minutes of landing on the beach, every, every member of his unit had been killed. How horrific, the, the things that he had to see. Buzz made it out of the war alive, but he was never honored for his courageous service. Now, decades later, the 89-year-old's combat gear has been replaced with medical machines. Buzz is on his deathbed, which is why Army Colonel Jeff Cook is by his side. I've pinned awards on a number of different people during the, my time in the Army. With a bronze star clutched in hand, Colonel Cook is ready to give one more soldier the recognition he's deserved for so long. Sergeant First Class Lester Bovey, on behalf of the Secretary of the Army, I'm going to award you the bronze star medal for combat operations during World War II as a combat infantryman. Buzz is not conscious to appreciate the significance of the moment, but his family is. He would be proud. He served our country during the darkest days, and he's always been our hero, so it just kind of reaffirms that. The star, pinned so neatly on Buzz's chest, took a year's worth of work by Colonel Cook. He worked so hard, and he so wanted him honored. He goes, I don't care. I don't care where he is. I will come. I just want to pin that on his chest. He deserves that before he goes. As Buzz reaches the end of his call of duty, his family is grateful he can go as a hero. It is a fitting end. Being honored as a hero, it's awesome. In Gilbert's, I'm Steve Kooge, ABC 15 News.